Okay, what is an OPAM? Okay, so uh, concluding everything that, that what we have learned here, well, uh, an OPAM uh, is an amplifier, okay? It boosts up the power of the input signal. Okay, fair enough, okay. Uh, also, uh, it is a five pin device five pin device now here you may ask me uh well we have been mostly focusing upon three pins and what were they v plus okay again this is vp or v positive or v negative or v minus sign okay so we have been focusing on negative terminal of the opam positive terminal of the opam and the v naught what are the other two pins well those two other pins are these right here okay it's not so if you look at any schematic symbol of opam you might not see these pins okay they might not be there so that does not mean they don't exist but it's just assumed they are there okay so remember what is opam doing taking this small signal and then making it big over here correct so if you look at it you are taking a piece of a small signal making it bigger physics says there has to be some kind of energy put in into this work so where is that energy coming that energy is actually coming from this vcc this positive and this negative vcc okay so opam will have two power supplies so these could be in the range from positive five to uh, positive five uh, negative five or positive negative uh, 22 volts okay okay so say you know i choose a value 9 volts here and this is negative 9 volts okay now this is important what i'm about to tell you now so say remember always your v out is always going to be in in this range 9 volt to negative 9 volt so say at the V out, you are getting 12 volt. What is going to happen? Well, what's going to happen, so say you have V naught here, and this is your output. This is your V out, okay? And say this is nine volts over here, and then V out was 12, so this is V out. This is 12 volt. Similarly, you will have negative 12 volt here. And then you have, uh, say, this is negative 9 volt. Okay, now what's going to happen? Well, because you have exceeded what was the rail voltage, any inputs, any output signal that is above the rail voltage, which is 9 volt, will be clipped. So you will basically get this. Similarly, on the negative axis, this part, which is below the negative nine, will be clipped and you will get something like this. So what's happening here? What would happen to this part of the data? It will be lost. You don't get it, right? Therefore, we have to make sure that this V naught is always in the range of the power supply, VCC and negative VCC, okay? All right, so it is a five pin device. Uh, uh, two input pins, right? Two input pins, uh, and those are VP, VN, uh, same thing, V plus, V negative. Uh, we have one output pin, right? We have one output pin, and that is uh, V naught, correct? Uh, similarly, we have two power supply pins. And those are uh, plus VCC and negative VCC. So these combined makes five pins. And I think I already mentioned that earlier uh, that uh, there is no ground pin, okay? There is no ground pin so when you do the lab tomorrow just keep that in mind okay all right let's move on to the next thing what is happening over here now one thing that you should remember 
and be it any device, be it an operational amplifier, transistors, or diode, they work in a in a in a region. Okay, if they go beyond some region, they won't work. They those that region is referred to as a saturation region, as you can see on this graph right here. Okay, this is the saturation region, and this is in the middle is a linear region. If we want our operational amplifier to work as an amplifier, we have to make sure that our amplifier works within this region in the middle. Okay, um, let's see over here in this region. Okay, now how can we uh, make that work out? Notice here that you have you have on the y axis over here you have v naught. Okay. V naught, and then you have plus VCC, and then you have minus VCC. Again, uh, this is uh, negative V naught here, and this is positive V naught. Okay, uh, here what you got on the x axis, you, at the x axis you got V n, right? V n is what? But it's a potential difference or differential voltage between uh, V plus and V minus. In other words, I can also write it down as V p minus V n. So both are same thing. I can write either way. Correct. Ideally, we want the differential voltage to be what? We just covered that. Input voltage needs to be ideally. Yes, folks. Zero. Zero. Okay. Now, so we are zero here at this point. Okay. When we are zero at zero, that means it's working as a perfect amplifier with a gain, uh, you know, whatever the gain uh, of the um, of the amplifier is. Uh, if it's uh, one, then it's a perfect one. Okay, now, if the input voltage increases, mean the difference between these two will, is, is a positive difference and it increases. So we are going in this direction here, okay? That means the gain is going, the output voltage is also going to increase, right? So what was the equation? If I write over here, uh, output voltage equals to gain times v in right or i can write down a dot vp minus v in right if this number increases if this number increases what would happen to output voltage will that go up or go down yes folks it will increase it would increase right if vp v minus n goes up then v naught also goes up because this is a product right any of these any of these factor goes up, the output voltage is going to go up. And that's what's happening over here. It is increasing. Now, once it reaches this value right here, which is VCC, why it flattens out here? We just learned about that. Why it flattens out over there? So the reason it flattens out because you have reached the positive VCC voltage and you cannot go above that. You don't have enough power. It's kind of like, you know, you're trying to get to from point A and point B and you need X amount of fuel. But if you don't have that amount of fuel, uh, you I mean, in that amount of fuel, you can only go from A to B. If you want to go from B to C, you cannot. So you would stop there, right? Another analogy, maybe, you know, if you're, if your mom tells you like, hey, uh, go Steve, get 10 apples. You go, to, you go to a mart and then you find out that there are only five apples, not 10. So what would you do? You'll take five apples and then come back home, right? So it's kind of like that. So once you get over here to the saturation region, which is basically a positive VCC, you just flat out. So that referred to as a saturation region. We don't want our amplifier to work in the saturation region. We want it to be below uh, this VCC. Okay. Similarly, if this, this potential difference over here, Vn, uh, you know, goes negative. So, okay. These are the negative values, right? These are the negative values. Um, then it goes this way. And again, it reaches, once it reaches certain point, which is the negative VCC, anything below that is going to be just, you know, just clipped. And then basically it just flattened out over here. And this is what the saturation over here, region over here. Okay, we want our uh, operational amplifier to work uh, in this range because that is when it works 
perfectly fine. And ideally, we want it to be close to zero here, right here. Ideally zero, practically, it's gonna be very close to zero, somewhere over here, very, very close. Okay, sweet. Um, so um, on the left, the graphic here, here, it basically just tells, you know, so say if V1 is 10 volts, and then V2 is 10.001 volts, say, okay? So what would be the potential difference here, Vn? So Vn in that case is going to be Vp minus Vn, correct? Can anybody tell me what is Vp? What is Vp here? This V1 is directly connected to the this terminal, so VP will be V1, which is 10 volts, correct? Yeah, is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, 10 volts. Okay, perfect. Tell me VN now. What is going to be VN? So if you look at VN here, 10 .001. It's, there you go, awesome. VN is it going to be equal to V2, which is 10 point zero zero one volts okay so vp minus vn is going to be if you plug in the values you'll basically get zero point zero zero one uh vn or you can say one milli volt okay all right uh, so if uh, if you if you do uh the gain here so v naught is equals to a dot vn correct uh and A is going to be the gain of this amplifier. And then Vn is, in this case, is 0 0.001, correct? Uh, and then, so depending upon what gain you want to choose, again, remember, gain can be set by negative Rf over Rs in case of the uh, inverting amplifier, inverting amplifier. Okay, uh, you have to choose what VCC you want to go with, right? You have to make sure that your v positive VCC, negative VCC covers the voltage that you are looking for. So this is extremely important, okay? Mm -hmm.